Channeling, what is it and what does it mean to channel? Well, in this brand new series, I'm calling Brochuality, we break down spiritual jargon and explain it through bro type movies. I grew up loving movies like Dumb and Dumber, Bill and Ted, Biodome, Basketball, and Old School, to name a few. Well, what do these movies all have in common? You might not realize it at first glance, but they all have hidden spirituality themes. Let's take old school, for example. Will Ferrell's character, Frank the Tank, is by no means a representation of an intelligent human being. However, there's a scene in the movie in which Frank the Tank faces off against James Carville in a debate. James Carville, of course, is a real life American political consultant who's playing himself in the movie. Well, needless to say, Will Ferrell's character, Frank, doesn't have a chance to beat James in this debate. Or does he? You see, Frank the Tank blacks out in the debate and delivers a perfectly intelligent explanation of his position of the role of government in the field of biotechnology. In fact, his delivery is so impeccable that James' character replies a bit perplexed by saying, we have no response, that was perfect. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out Frank's character's demeanor when he comes back from his blackout. He goes back to his bro self by raising a fist in the air to exclaim his victory in the debate. You see, this is channeling. It's letting yourself be a vessel to deliver a message that's coming from somewhere else. Channeling can come from your higher self, which basically means your soul, or it can come from other spirit guides. In this seemingly innocent scene during a silly comedy, there's actually a much deeper meaning of spirituality portrayed. So, my question for you is where else can you use this new lens of perception to see channeling in your own life or even in pop culture? The magic is abundant and it's all around us. We just need to be open to living in a world of magic. I am. Are you? Till next time, I'm Sam Kabert, and make sure to check out my podcast, Soul Seeker, if you want to go deeper down the rabbit hole.